a battle cruiser that goes as fast as a frigate. Ladies and gentlemen, that's the Kisrael, a brand new ship inside of EVE Online's new expansion, Havoc. And we're gonna walk you through some fits to make sure that you have what you need to take this beauty out in style. So if you want all the best EVE guides on the newest ships, you came to the right place. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Lulru here, digital advertiser, content creator, and even jellier for the better part of 10 years now. And here she is. Ah, oh, she's pretty. Take a look at this one. I love the like snake design. Oh, it just looks fantastic. It looks like a freaking cobra somehow. Now, before we talk about the actual fit, what the heck are you going to use this ship for? Well, this ship is fast compared to its counterpart, the alligator, and it's going to be using projectile turrets. And since it's a battle cruiser, you are going to get to use a command burst. So we've made sure that this thing does two things. It's fast and hard to hit and hits like a freaking truck. I can see this kind of fit going into a mission running, abyss, or even ratting, depending on where you are. And again, the point here is that you're not going to get hit with this thing being so freaking fast. With all that said, let's dive into the fit. Now, don't look at the total cost of this fit because we're on the test server right now and the cost is just incorrect. Although it would be nice to have this be a total of 3 million isk. Let's start off in the highs. You're going to max out the turret spots here using 425 millimeter auto cannon twos. We'll talk about the ammo in the later part of the video. I went back and forth on which cannons to use. There's a bunch of different kinds, but these auto cannons here, let me find a nice balance between my CPU and power grid usage while still getting over a thousand DPS when everything was said and done. Next, we are going to talk about the command boost and you're going to use a skirmish command boost, specifically one that's outfit with a rapid deployment charge. Now this is going to increase your base speed. Let's go right into the micro warp drive here too. You're going to use the best micro warp drive you can. And even without the command burst, we're going 1700 MS in a freaking battle cruiser. She's super fast, dude. With the rapid deployment charge in, you're going to go just over 2000 MS. This is nuts, y'all. Oh, this battle cruiser is a bullet, dude. And really, this is the first point of this fit, you'll notice there's not a lot of tank on this because your number one thing is going to be not getting hit. So what you're going to do is you're going to orbit around the enemies at just inside that fall off range of 23k. Go as fast as you can and start poking them for a bunch of damage. Continuing down the mids, we're using a faction cap battery. I always like the Thucker cap batteries are way easier to put into your ships and they make the active fit like this way easier to fly. For our tank, you're going to focus mainly on the mid slots for this. There is a damage control in the lows and this is kind of the first snag with this ship and I'd love to know what you think in the comments. The Kisriel doesn't have as many mods modules as the alligator does. And because it's a gun focused ship, you really need those lows to be DPS focused to feed those guns. So you can't really fit a lot of tank in the lows, meaning the bulk of your tank has to come in the mids right here. So you really do have to lean on your micro warp drive, making sure you don't get hit as much. And then the tank is basically secondary. So while here we have a multi-spectrum shield hardener, a single large extender, and a single medium shield booster, understand that you can mix and match these to whatever you need. This gives us the resists. This increases our maximum shield HP. And this is a nice heal. Fit whatever you would like to depending on what situation you're in with the ship. And as we were mentioning the lows, we have four gyro stabilizer twos. These increase your gun DPS up to 855. Now, because you're going fast, you are gonna have to get tracking speed going. So make sure you have a, at least a single tracking enhancer here. This coupled with the rig that we're gonna get into in just a sec means that the tracking of your guns are gonna be just over 42. Now, if you're noticing you're missing stuff while you're still going around them nice and fast, just remove one of these DPS modules, put another tracking module in its place. Again, the mids are super stocked. There really isn't a spot for a tracking unit inside the mids. The rig that gives you the track speed is the metastasis adjuster too. <sighs> Who's naming these things, I tell you. Finally, to round out the shield, we have a damage control two in the lows, as well as an EM shield reinforcer to close that EM hole, and a single core defense extender. This raises the amount of shield that you get. Now, finally, you are going to be using some hail ammo here. We'll talk about other ammos in just a sec. And when all said and done, this is going to be a nice, speedy, brawling ship, capable of healing itself, tanking some shots. But we're not done yet. You might have looked at this and go, Loru, why are your drones doing so much damage? Now, y'all are going to crack up. Okay. When I saw that the bandwidth had 75, you know I had to do it too. Ladies and gentlemen, you can fit a gecko on this suck. Now, when I fly my Proteus, we typically use a couple geckos on there to get the maximum DPS. Now, now you don't have to do this, but if you're trying to pump out extra DPS, this is the best way I found to get over 1,000 DPS on this fit. Now, you'll notice the drones aren't nearly as much as the turrets, but 208 DPS ain't nothing to scoff at. You're going to do this with a single gecko, two Vespas, and one Hornet. Read one gecko, two mid, and one light. Do any kind of combat combination that you need, depending on what you're fighting. And you don't have to do this, by the way. You can use five Vespas, five Hornets, whatever you want. This was the way I found the most DPS. It's a bit of a meme, I know. But at the same time, you're already going super fast. You're boosting your buddies. You do a decent amount of DPS with your guns. And then when someone gets close to you, you throw out a Gecko kill squad. Forget about it. You might be coming to this going, Loru, is that the only fit you have for us? No, no, no. Ladies and gentlemen, I give you the Sniper Kisriel. Now, the goal of this fit is to absolutely meme on your opponent 
around. So we're still going 2k with our lovely command burst, but we've swapped to the tremor ammo. And now the fall off range is 120 kilometers away. This coupled with a sensor booster too, making sure you're using a targeting range script, you're gonna be able to lock onto stuff within 130 away. Meaning if you start outranging somebody with your speed and you will, you can just start poking them down with your guns at range and they'll never catch you, baby. Now we're not gonna go into the whole fit. Let's just go through the main differences here. We are gonna be using a sensor booster too in the mids like we were talking about. The mids are gonna start running an ancillary current router to be able to fit the new power grid needs. And you're gonna use the medium tremor ammo for your guns. You can keep the gecko kill squad if you want. You can only use your drones within 60 kilometers away. Think of it like this. If somebody happens to get on top of you, which is unlikely, happens to range down you and your fleet, which is unlikely, then you get to throw out a bunch of geckos onto them, nearly doubling your DPS. And in this fit, you can always swap to the previous ammo and start doing close to a thousand DPS anyway. Ugh, I love this shit, man. Now, before you go, we do some giveaways for you. As many of you know, we are EVE partners. That means the devs give me skins to give away to you. So if you want to win skins worth the hundreds of millions of isk, you got to do these three things. First is you got to be subbed. My bot's going to know if you're not subbed. You're going to go into the comments below and type, wow, that's fast. When you type that in, make sure you also put your in-game name. That's going to let me know who to send the skins to. We do the drawings a little bit after the video is released. You can always check the winners of our contest in the community tab of our YouTube video. And y'all, as of the recording of this video, we are at 8,200 subs. 10K is getting closer, baby. I'm loving this. We get a bunch of Eve Havoc content coming out. So if you want more of that, make sure you sub right here. All of our Eve guides are right here. Thanks a lot, everybody. Enter the contest, like I said, and we'll see you in the next video.